Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds, and what a beautiful morning. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take a picture of that. This is unintended, but I'm gonna do this right now. Get a couple of screenshots of that beautiful scenery. How beautiful is this game, actually? Today's video, guys, is about the developer update from January 5th. Today is January 6th. And for whatever reason, this wasn't in the official Angler Discord. I looked, it wasn't under updates anyway in the official Angler Discord. So I kept looking for it on there and it never did pop up as of right now. But this was discovered on their Facebook page, on the official Call of the Wild, the Angler Facebook page. It's a new year and our friends on the dev team is starting to get back to work after the holidays. Today, executive producer Gaz comes with an update on what to look forward to in the future. Check it out here. And then it gives a link. Now let's go look at that link. But before we do guys, please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe and notify bell so that you don't miss any future videos. I'm just out here today fishing for black crappie and green sunfish, and this is a great place to do it. You can actually get both here in this little spot. Uh, and if you wanna eliminate the other fish, use marshmallow, a little trick that Kyla taught me. Anyway, guys, let's hop into it. I'm going to throw this back out there. And occasionally I may have to hop back over and catch a fish if you don't mind, but let's, let's look at this. Developer update January 5th, that should say 2024 there. Description, happy new year anglers. 2024 has started and we are back at it right away, working hard and eager to bring you some great new features. After a nice break to recharge our batteries, we're excited to keep adding to the angler. There's so much coming and it's a joy to be a part of this great team of developers. So how about some updates? Gaz disclaimer. Some of these are in early development and some are closer to being finished. So not all of these will be in the next patch, but in subsequent patches in the coming months. Features in early to mid development, next reserve. The next reserve and all its new fish are really starting to take shape now. Already talking about the new map, this is exciting. It's still in its early phase and needs time. Okay, so it's not coming anytime soon. Don't be expecting it real soon. But we're progressing well and it's really coming along. We'll let you know when we have something cool to show and we'll be discussing it more in upcoming streams with Jaxi. That's awesome. More fish, now check this out. So we've added new fish to the game already and people liked that. So why not add some more? Everyone wants more new fish to catch, right? But where are those fish gonna live? It's a new year, so do you fancy a change of hairstyle and facial hair? I mean, why not? How about a new look for your character in 2024 soon, okay? Let's go back to the more fish for a second. Now that says new fish, okay? Not just backfilling, that says new fish. So backfilling would be kind of like, ah, let's just go, you know, add some existing fish to the game, whatever. They're adding some new fish. I imagine it'd be a mixture of new fish and some existing fish added to Trospore. That's what I'm calling. Spain's new. I feel like they're just gonna, you know, we've already had some backfilling on Golden Ridge. So I feel like this is gonna happen to Trospore, but I could be wrong. So I'm excited about that. Speaking of our customization area, it's about time to get a re refresh to make it easier to find all of your unlocked apparel. Okay, so we're gonna get a UI customization. Float behavior improvements. We want to continue to add depth to the game. With that in mind, we want to improve how the float interacts with the water, current, and wind. Lots of work to be done, but this is already looking good. General fishing gameplay improvements. In addition to the float, we're also continuing to work on all aspects of the core gameplay experience to add depth, refine, and improve where necessary. In addition, we continue to listen to feedback from the various channels to make these great changes to the game. 
they really do a good job of listening to the community. They've got it set up to where you can you can add those suggestions in there and, and they listen to the community. And, you know, people will need to realize that just because you want something added to the game doesn't mean it's going to happen. I mean, like, there's millions, billions, gazillions of people on the planet, you know, millions of people that play this game that want this or that. It's not possible to add everything and please everyone, but they do their best to put in those things that are most most people are wanting, you know? Uh, they gotta play the numbers. They can't just add every single thing that we all want. We need to bear in mind and, and keep that in mind. Um, better ways of playing with friends. Now this might be the thing that I'm the most excited about. We know this isn't ideal at the moment and we're working on a new invite system, which will make this much easier to play with friends. I'm already thinking of Tackle Tuesday and if we can all get on the same map, how sweet would that be? And then when I do my normal streams, when I'm, I've got my viewers that I play with all the time, we're all the time seeing people I can't join, it's full, whatever. But if we can make it to where we can invite, oh my goodness, that would be sweet. We gotta leave, I don't know how they're gonna do that because we have to leave expansive worlds in control of the map. Um, we got to make it to where we can't change the time, although I'm going to mention something else about that. Because if people have complete control of the map, then you end up with like what's happening, unfortunately, over on the Hunter when people are just modding and, and cheating and cloning and giving this trophy to people and duplicating and all that. So just all the stuff that shouldn't be going on that people do. Um, the angler is trying to keep the game with integrity so that people really cherish when they catch an awesome fish you know see that's what you lose when you cheat you don't get that sense of accomplishment you don't yes I, I caught that finally you don't get that if you cheated to get it so we're trying to keep this game with integrity here so i commend them for that but the other thing about the maps is jaxi has talked about it it's not in this little article here but Jaxi has talked about this last this last Wednesday, this the first tackle box stream of the year, that they are looking at nighttime servers or daytime servers. Because you have those fish. Me, for example, I've got black crappie and green sunfish, which is why I'm fishing in the spot that I am right now, because you can actually catch a diamond of each of those in the spot where I'm at right now. So, and I don't care which one I catch first, as long as I get one, then I'll focus on the other one. But my other two fish that I need are shovel nose sturgeon and walleye, and they're nighttime fish. So how nice would it be to be able to choose a nighttime fish or a daytime? A nighttime server or a daytime server, that would be sweet. Third person vehicle camera for those who feel ill when driving. Motion sickness, i.e. first person vehicle view only will be a thing of the past when we implement our third person vehicle camera. It is a work in progress right now, but coming along nicely. I apologize to my friends who have had the misfortune of jumping into the passenger side of my vehicle in the past. I know I've made you sick. I make myself sick when I'm driving. I'm not the best driver on that game. Bugs and quality of life updates. We continue to monitor all the various bug channels and appreciate you folks taking the time to report them we're diligently working on them as we always do and we'll fix another batch in the next patch in addition we've already made a bunch of quality of life updates that'll come with this next patch as we continue to refine all areas of the angler thanks for reading folks there's a lot to come in 2024 and we're already working hard to get them into the game for you all to enjoy cheers for being an awesome community and happy angling if you're enjoying the game Leave us a review on the various storefronts. It really helps. Gaz and the community team. Now, I've also looked at this picture down here. Anytime they post a picture, I'm like, hmm, is there something going on here? Is there a hidden hint somewhere? I believe from what I can tell, this is just that little walkway on Spain up by the waterfall. But you never know when they're going to hide something in there, guys. You just never know. Now, all of this has come from the Call of the Wild the angler official facebook page for whatever reason it's not in the discord or it wasn't as of the recording of this video it's not in the official discord but it is on their official facebook page so you can get on there 
uh, it was posted on January 5th, uh, about midday or something, I think. So if you guys want to go check that out, you can. Uh, but I'm excited. I saw it, you know, just stumbled across it on Facebook. And I was like, man, I didn't know about that. I hadn't heard anybody talk about it. But guys, if you would, please let me know in the comments, which of that you are most excited for. And what we read in that update, in that developer update, let me know what you are most excited about. I don't know if it's the back feeling of the fish or the new fish they're adding, or if it's the new invite system. I I'm just, I'm excited all the way around. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, please hit that like, subscribe, notify bell so that you don't miss out. Our first Tackle Tuesday stream is going to be, as far as the season goes, we've still been doing Tackle Tuesday, but it's just been kind of more for fun. The official first week of the season starts this Tuesday, and we're adding Caitlin, Tipsy, and, and Pro XCK to the mix. So it's going to be an exciting season, guys. I'm looking forward to it. Can we defend our title? Can we do it? But we will see you over on YouTube at 8 p.m. Eastern. Oh, we just got a go green sunfish. Nice. We will see you at 8 p.m. Eastern time for Tackle Tuesday. We go, usually go live about an hour for a little practice, you know. Are we going to do Camizo this week? We've already done it recently, so I don't know. We might call an audible on that one. I'm not 100% sure yet what we're doing, but also guys, I am now on YouTube Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, three days in a row. Now, Wednesday and Thursday, I go live a little earlier, usually around 5 p.m. Eastern time, 4.30 or 5 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays and Thursdays on YouTube. I just wanted to do three days in a row on YouTube, three days in a row on Twitch. Uh, Fridays, I normally have off, and Saturday, Sunday, monday or twitch now saturdays we stream whenever we can because it's the weekend so things happen on the weekends sundays 8 to 11 eastern time mondays same time slot as youtube 4 30 probably 4 30 p.m eastern uh, we'll be live all those on twitch so whichever platform you prefer or both hope to see you guys there let me know in the comments guys what are you most excited for my name is darth sloan we'll catch you in the next video